Hello and welcome to LocoFi Lab, where new innovations in Wi-Fi model railroading take place. In today's segment, I will be demonstrating the install of uh, LocoFi module in an Athern RTR DCC ready locomotive. It's a Conrail road number 2289. Let's first take off the shell. I have it already open. Just need to lift the shell here. Um, prior to that, I had already unscrewed the the couplers from both the sides and uh, taken out the couplers, and that's how you get to open the shell. And I have already wired the lights uh, by replacing the bulbs with the LEDs and uh, I, I kept the bulbs uh, in their sockets here and just cut off the wires and placed the LEDs right behind the bulbs uh, so that the light will actually uh, look like coming out of the bulbs and uh, so I have this uh, blue ground wire already connected and uh, these two wires from the rear lights uh, so i'm just gonna keep it a very quick and short video so i won't be doing like a whole lot of steps uh, like right in front of you so i'll be just uh, demonstrating the key steps and uh, how eventually the install will look like so let's first take off this board The board kind of pops off over here. You can see it has a connecting clip right below the board and it goes on top of this uh, top of the motor. So this is the bottom of the motor and I'm just gonna take this one out. it away I'm gonna wire everything up together the top just the bottom the bottom of the motor will go to the gray wire uh, the top will connect to the orange wire red would connect to the, the right hand rail and the black will connect to the chassis over here so the only difference with the blue box uh, here is that we don't have to really isolate the motor ourselves by taking the motor apart uh, from the chassis uh, it's already done for you and uh, the chassis you don't need to connect to the connector clip which used to be over here in the front for the blue boxes where there's a bulb bracket in place over here and another connector clip goes on top of this strip so this is actually pretty simple and that's the reason I discarded the DCC ready board because it actually makes it a lot simpler by just discarding that board and just soldering the wires in place here so let's uh, let's do that so I wired up these uh, the right rail with the red wire and now I'm gonna uh, wire the rest of the wire one thing to note about the motor positive the orange wire going over here is I'm gonna take out this clip and then solder this wire onto the clip because otherwise it tends to melt the plastic and that uh, will cause the motor to go loose and uh, cause all kinds of problems uh, so I'll take off the clip, solder the wire, and then solder the rest of the wires. Please take care while taking off this clip to make sure this spring doesn't go flying. So you see it's all wired up now. Uh, uh, 
all the six or seven wires are in place and uh, I'm just uh, gonna install it on top of this strip I'll put put some captain tape here uh, put the board on top and then kind of tie it with another piece of tape and just kind of put the speaker uh, kind of hanging in there or if you're not tie it up whichever way you want to do it it's up to you so let's do that there we have it all taped up so let's put the shell back and uh, and the installation is complete thank you